say that it feels right What's going on everybody? Flat Line Guru here has bring us a new race with the MX5 Cups here at Line Lock. I have to say this is probably one of the tightest fields we've ever been a part of. Leader, yes, with 58-2. I'm sitting there second with a 58-5. Third, 58-5-7. And it just goes down the list in eighth place to 58-8. I don't know how much tighter you can really get. That's what she said. All jokes aside, let's get it going. Four red lights on the board. Let's go, baby. Come on. Alright. Take a second here quickly. Thank you. And just as we're about to head into turn one, tap the brake and get the car rotated just enough. Kind of fall into a line. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a good battle between us and first. It'd be nice to go ahead and just have some good side to side racing, but hopefully we can tear ourselves out of trouble for this race. Getting through turn three in the last bit of the course. Now we're only looking at, like I said, 58 second lap times is where we really want to be. And that's where we should close up on the gap on him pretty quickly. We're going to get, on, get onto the brake just a little earlier than I would just so I can stay out of the back bumper because I don't know exactly where his brake marker is. At least so I can just figure him out the next 20 laps. Nao's right behind us. And he's closing up fast, but you know what? I think we're going to get the oh, little squirrely there. Oof, that's not the way you want to end first lap. Uh, let's see where he goes. Okay, he's going at the 100 meter mark. Let's go, baby. Hey, we almost got in the rear end of us there. Ooh, the wreck in the back. Looks like this is going to be a fight between first and second now. Uh, let's just stay on his back bumper and hope for the best. Come on. Uh, here come the all apologies. So second place now is down to 2.8 into Cardo that's behind us. And honestly, I think we got some time just to kind of focus on me and uh, Matthew right ahead of us right now currently. Well, maybe close up on the back number here, coming down the last corner here. Hit it perfectly, there we go. Good corner out. Ooh, we got a good run on it. A huge run. Go, John, go. Ooh, and there we go. Get the lead right there. Alrighty. That's one way to get it happening. Let's go. Now, we are on the top split of the, uh, of the night so far with the number four car, so hopefully we can keep it right on first and second. Should be good for our eye rating, apparently. I think we're sitting at an 1800 if I'm not mistaken, and just over 1800, which isn't much to really brag about, but it is a lot better than where we were originally, sitting at about like a 1400. Ooh, not the corner I wanted to get that off of. Um, let's see if we can pull away just enough. Uh, looks like we, we have enough, we want to see enough gap to kind of keep away from the, uh, the draft, but I think that we were actually able to go ahead and get enough uh, momentum going down that last corner that we were going to go break with just about 58-8 that last lap, so that's not too shabby. Hopefully we can go and get these 58 fives going here soon. Like them, like now, would be nice. Just so we can try and pull away as quickly as possible, but I just made a little off right there. Didn't get an X, but I think we should be okay. Tap the brake to kind of get the car rotate just enough. Get over the hill. I hate how light that car gets over the top of that hill. There we go. It's almost like a four four wheel slide coming down around that corner. Even on here, it's almost a four wheel slide. Looks like this lap, me and him are literally running the same lap because he he's literally been sitting right at a point three, point two behind. 58-6. Alright. Yeah, so through, get a good run. Oh, come on. Oh, 
little too shabby. A little too shabby of a corner. I don't think he's going to go and break right into us. Break out just enough. We're right at the point where it's like it's hard for him to actually gain a draft, but he's still close enough to really <laughs> get to our back bumper. I know he's gonna play with our inside just enough. Again, that's what she said. Mikey, you got the jokes today. Come on. This might go down as maybe one of the most intense, not the most intense, but close to intense uh, battles for the lead I've had in a while. I had a couple in the past couple uh, couple races I've been in, but I just haven't been recording for it. So let's go, baby. Come on. We had a 58.5 that last time. I didn't realize it. We're still sitting, he's three tenths behind, and we're literally just sitting there neck and neck with each other. I think he's gonna leave. He's gonna wait to make that move, I know what he's doing. Because I had to do it on my last race to get the win. But he is on our ass. Oh, he got squirrely off of that. I lost him here. Come on, break away. Ooh, we're able to go and break, break just enough. We're going to be about a half a second coming into uh, the turn one. In a lot of cases, I would let him go, but he's yet to get his nose on the inside yet. If he would, I might let him go just so we can have a chance to really battle out with him, but he hasn't had the nose really right on the inside. And as I said, he was just about to do it. So if he can get, if he can get the run on the inside, I might let him have it. I mean, because we still have another 10 laps to go after this. I mean, because it's just more of just kind of a respectable driving kind of thing. I mean, because if you know somebody, if you know someone's faster than you completely, let him go. I mean, if he's getting right to the inside, he can't make the move, and he keeps doing it after lap, let him go. But since we're just literally, he hasn't been able to get the move right on our, besides the move up here, he hasn't been onto our bumper, and he hasn't actually been on the inside or outside of us. And I think he's actually just being a respectable driver, honestly. That was a horrible lap by me, 59.1. Jeez. Oh, God. 
Maybe stay in the 58s. Took a bump right there, and he's gonna close the gap up pretty quick. He might actually get this run up the inside now. If I'm speaking of it. This is good racing. It's good racing. I feel bad for him behind us, but as soon as he makes that move, we're gonna, we're gonna let him go. That's if he makes that move. That little scroll coming up behind. Hi, Edgy. Not what I need it. There's the corner. Bend it back out. Let's go, baby. Come on. Oh, Matthew, let us have this one, please. Make one screw up. That was a better corner for it. I think he's just setting me up. That's all he's doing. He's just setting me up. I know what he's doing. We just have to watch for him. That's the biggest thing is just watch for him to wait for that move. What he's going to do is when he gets to that, before he gets to that top of that hill, he's going to go and back off and up, and then he's going to go and push. I like his style, because I did it too. I've done it multiple times already. So, you guys, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for joining in. Um, we do have a giveaway currently for painters for a free car and a free track or a three month subscription of your choice. It's your choosing whatever one you want to go and do. Um, but painting cars wise, I have logos, everything else for you. Or if you want to come up with something on your own, more than welcome to do so. Oh no, he's got this one. Yep, yeah, this is his corner. He's got this. I'm not blocking him. I'm not blocking him. But now it's our turn to sign up. his head a little bit. Depending if we can just keep the gap closed. That's all the paths. I know. slide right there. Let's go. That was the biggest gap we've had so far. <laughs> this is upsetting. Oh, I'm 
Ooh. I need him to make a. I need him to make a huge mistake. It needs to happen. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, baby, come on. Don't give up. Stuart Scott would say, don't give up, never give up. That's a cancer reference, but you can't ever give up on anything. Come on, he's got this, come on. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. Come on. We're closing. We're closing. We're down to point four. We were point eight the last one. This is the most most intense battle for the lead I've ever had. Hands down. This will go in the record book for myself. It's not like there's a lot of passing, but we're just we're sitting running the same times over and over and over again. Whenever I mess up, he messes up. And it's been like right that the whole race. It's gonna come down to the wire. It really is. I don't know the bumper. Come on. Oh my god, I honestly wonder what he's saying to himself right now. He's probably saying, he's like, you damn American, you don't know how to drive. That's what I'm thinking. Two laps are gonna make this happen. And it's gonna have to be on that front straight away. Try not to hit the brakes at all in that corner. I need one thing. Come on. No, uh, he's pulling away just a little bit. Make this happen, 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 make this happen. Let's go. Last lap pass, baby. Come on. Come on. Smile too much, but this is oh my god. Let's go, baby. I might have to defend just enough. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come on. 
for the record. Best race I've ever had. Let's go. Good job, Michael. That was a ton of fun. Man, that was awesome. Matthew, that was awesome, man. That was, I was literally balls to the wall, man. That was the best race I've had. And thank God I recorded that race. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah, man, that was, that was pure racing right there, man. Good job. Can we just say, that was probably the most intense racing I've ever seen in MX5 Cup. Hands down for the league, cleanest racing. I hands down us battling out. Obviously, I'm the monster energy car right there, but it was just us going back and forth. I mean, actually, for the most part, it was me defending, him defending, and we were able to make that last lap pass, baby. If you made it up to the very end of this video, hashtag Drift King down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned in this race. That was I, I, I'm, I'm lost for words. Matthew, thank you so much for the fantastic race, man. It was incredible. I enjoyed every bit of it. Um, all around, clean racing. You can't ask for anything better than that, man. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video here coming up soon in the next couple of days. Um, also, quick thing to mention, Merry Christmas to all you guys. And if I don't have a video up for you guys, which I actually will for the weekend, Happy New Year's. That was the pass for the lead right there. Man, that was awesome. Guys, take it easy. I'll see you guys soon. Love you. Say that it feels right.